Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm up with another video in which I'll be showing you how to make this cute hair bow tie. Now this is a perfect project for uh, using up your scrap yarn. You can make them in just around 20 minutes so it's a very quick project. Now let's quickly get started with the video. So we'll begin with making a slip knot. Here we have made a slip knot and now we'll start chaining. I'm going to make a total of 24 chains. So it is going to be 20 plus 4. So any uh, any number of chains you, you got to make, you add in 4 to it. Now I'm using 100% cotton yarn and a 3mm hoop for this video. Everything that I'm using in this video will be linked in the description box below. So this is our chain 20 and we're going to add, add in 4 more chains to this. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we are going to leave four chains and we are going to make a double crochet in the fifth chain from a hook. So right over there we are going to make one double crochet. Now I am going to chain one. I will make one double crochet in the uh, third chain from a hook. We will leave chain one again uh, skip the next chain and in the next chain we're going to make one double crochet again we're going to chain one skip the next chain and in the next chain we're going to make one double crochet chain one skip one chain one double crochet so this is uh, the whole row this is how it is going to be also, if you're not uh, familiar with these basic stitches, I have separate detailed videos for all of them and I'll be linking all of them in the description box below. So we are at the end of our uh, first row. last few stitches and we're going to make one double crochet in the very last chain the last chain is usually very tight so it's a bit tricky to get into it now we're done with our first row and it should somewhat look like this Now moving on to our row 2, we're just going to chain 4, so the chain 3 is going to be counted as a first double crochet and a chain 1 and we're going to make one double crochet on top of the uh, double crochet. Now we're going to chain 1 and one double crochet on top of that uh, double crochet. Chain one, one double crochet on top of the one double crochet. So basically, uh, we're going, our row two is going to be the same. So we are going to make a total of twenty-four such rows. Now this we are on our second row, and we're going to make twenty-two more rows. So we'll have a total of twenty-four such rows of uh, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So I'm just going to continue making my uh, rows and I'll see you once I'm done. Now let me just quickly show you how to end your uh, second row for that uh, you'll chain one and you'll skip that one chain and you're going to make one double crochet in the third chain like the, the third chain from the base. 
So you see how you end your rows? Now I'll just complete my 24 rows and I'll be back. Here as you can see we are done with our 24 rows and this is how your panel should look like. Now for making a bow we are going to uh, fold it into half like this. Now for that uh, we are just going to attach both the ends and sort of make it uh, a loop. So I'm just going to make slip stitches and I'm going to attach both of the panels. Sorry, both of the sides of the panel. Now if, if you're comfortable with just sewing in, you can go ahead and do that, but um, I like to uh, attach them with slip knots, sorry slip stitches, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to uh, attach both the ends and I'll see you once I'm done. Here you can see we have attached both the ends and the, your bow should somehow look like this. Now we're going to fold it uh, like this and this is how the bow will look like. So we're going to make a tiny uh, panel and we're going to make the middle of our bow and we're going to fold it like this and attach the middle part. Now for making the middle portion of our bow, we're going to start with making a slip knot. And after making a slip knot, we're going to start chaining. I'm going to make a chain of 15. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15 now after making a chain of 15 we are going to add in we are now going to skip that first chain and in the second chain we are going to make one single crochet we'll make one single crochet in the next chain as well so basically we are going to make a row of single crochets now this is one row of single crochets we are going to make four more rows so we'll have a total of five rows of uh, single crochets so I'll just continue making my stitches and I'll see you once I'm done. Now I'm done making my uh, five rows of single crochets and now we are going to make the bow. For that we're going to fold it uh, like this as I've shown you earlier. And we're going to take that uh, part that we made, the middle portion and we're going to sew in that portion like this so at the back you can see we just have to attach both of the parts I'm just going to attach those parts with uh, slip stitches now I'm just going to uh, attach this with slip stitches and I'm going to see you once I'm done Here you can see that we are done with making our bow. We have attached that part with slip stitches and this is how it should look like. Now I'm going to uh, add in a bobby pin at the back like this so that I can wear it in my hair. You can even attach a clip if you have but this is how you can, you can add in two bobby pins as well to make it more secure.
and once done this is how it should look like thanks for watching my video if you do like my video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos happy crocheting